Hello, Howard, Andy, and Scott. This is David Whitehead. Uh, I just wanted to show you really quickly how easy it is to use eFile Cabinet if it is set up correctly. Uh, and that's something that we will help you do. But currently, I am logged in as the administrator. And as the administrator, I have access uh, to all of the cabinets that are available in our system. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, added an analytics, a human resource, national accounts, network services, and mail cabinet. Uh, and again, I, this is because I'm the administrator. I can do everything here. But as a uh, regular employee, I would not have access to all those cabinets. So I'm going to sign out and I'm going to log out. I'm going to sign in as someone else. And you'll notice that when I sign in as someone else, I do not have access to all of the cabinets that are there. I only have cabinets that I have permission to. Uh, to look at and to uh, you know to add things to if I need to. Um, in here, you'll notice that I have created three drawers for for three potential clients inside each of those drawers. I have created a folder structure that is easily uh, duplicated for additional for other clients. And inside those uh, inside those folders, I've got my documents. And so the way that I've got this set up is as you store a document, the store window comes up. If I decide if I've created predefined names, uh, I can have predefined names in here that we can name it. Uh, let's do, uh, we're going to do second revision so that I don't have two of those. Uh, that I can tell it what department I am in. I can tell it who I am. I can tell it what uh, product it is and what type also what type of a document it is. I can store that document. There's the document. There's the view of the document. And then here is the metadata that we put into the system. Uh, shows me what department, what author, what product, and what type. So if I am looking for uh, something in one of the uh, uh, drawers, I can look for a uh, presentation. And then any presentation that I have in the system uh, comes up. And then anything that is tagged uh, with that uh, metadata on there is available to me. Uh, the other way of doing it is through that metadata directly, through the profile. Um, I have many more profiles here than you're going to have. You may only have one or two. But if I'm looking for something that Scott did, uh, actually, I don't know if I've got something in there for Scott. So let me. Um, I'll do one for Andy because I know I have one for Andy. Uh, I searched for something that Andy did. There's the three documents that Andy put into the system. Lastly, if you want a certain more uh, stringent search, uh, you can do it by date range, text in the name. Uh, if you put the document through an OCR, you can do the OCR. Uh, and then you can use our advanced mechanism. Again, this is all very easy to use, very easy to set up, and we will help you to do so. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I think that uh, you'll see that uh, it is very simple. It's all a matter of how you set it up. And we will help you set that up in such a way uh, that you will be able to do those searches uh, that you want to be able to do to easily find uh, documents. Uh, and thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day.